the coronavirus outbreak originating in China has infected more than 550,000 people all over the world. A global virus that keeps us contained in our homes, scrabbling for food and essentials, maybe for many more months to come, is already changing our relationship to government, to the outside world, and even to one another. Many of us are already asking the important questions, such as why was a reality television star elevated to presidency? Am I actually stuck in an episode of Black Mirror? And if I tell somebody a coronavirus joke now, will I have to wait two weeks to see if they've got it? The UK has been gripped by widespread anxiety, leaving thousands of people isolated, lonely and distressed. But with the arrival of Lockdown Lifeline, all of that is about to change. <laughs> 42-year-old Claire Wicks is the founder and director of Lockdown Lifeline. She set up the company in a bid to assist people in crisis, spreading positivity and kindness all over the UK. They can fuck off. I've not even had coffee yet. This is 35-year-old Sarah, a manic depressive goth who struggles to commit suicide. Her likes include Skittles, Black Cats, and Cradle of Filth. Are we done yet? My wrist's hurting. At 46 years old, with 14 children, a wife, and multiple lovers, Jim claims he works at Lockdown Lifeline to escape his hectic home life. Jim? Jim! <laughs> Sally, eh, sorry, could you keep still? Thanks. Sally, ex-porn star and glamour model, who has now decided to commit her life to Jesus Christ. At just 28 years old, this nude to prude is the youngest on the frontline team. You can do your nails again now. This is Robert Jackson. Hi. So, Robert, you have to freeze when I'm introducing you. I'm sorry, shall I? No, 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 that's that's not what I meant, not what I meant at all. <sighs> okay. I just popped in the toilet. No, 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 stop. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, this is Robert Jackson. Following many years of unemployment, loneliness and many one-night stands, 52-year-old Robert is delighted to be part of the support team at Lockdown Lifeline. I'd just like to say, uh, I've only ever had two one-night stands, so... And they were both prosy, so... Uh... I don't think that counts. You can go to the toilet now. Thank you. So, with the way that the world is right now, I can struggle to keep my faith, you know, in the Lord God Almighty. Um, but then Kofi died. <laughs> and my faith in Jesus Christ was restored. <laughs> so Kofi is gone? Oh yeah, he got coronavirus, died of it, didn't he? Really bad, apparently. <gasps> um, but anyway, I'm a bit worried that his evil soul, right, will come into the office and haunt us all. So I got one of my friends, right, from the church to come in uh, and do his thing. He used to be an exorcist. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you mean an ex-exorcist? No, he's, he's just called an exorcist. Um... <laughs> Anyway, um, so like he's gonna do his thing and that, but I've also, I've bought some backup. I've bought some holy water, so. But that's just cloudy lemonade. Yeah, but I bought it on the way to the Vatican last year, so. <clears throat> Hello, Lockdown Lifeline, how can I help? Hi there, I just wanted to check. Am I okay to sunbathe in the garden? Current guidelines say that you are. And what about in the garden nude? Why would that be a problem? It's not my garden. I'm sorry? Hey! The bloody hell are you doing in my garden?
Are you going to answer that, Robert? Nope. I've decided to take it easy today without listening to other people's problems. And I am going to organise my desk. Political power comes from the barrel of a gun. Chairman Mayo said that. Well, actually, it was Chairman Mao. Um, but what has that got to do with you defecating in the new guy's desk? No. Well, I didn't know it was a new guy, Roberts. When I did it, did I? I thought it was still coffee, else I wouldn't have done it. I'm not an animal. Oh, my God. Is it a shit in your drawer? Yeah. You have to clean it up. But I didn't. Is it in your drawer? Well, yeah, but... Well, then, you need to clean it. Oh, God almighty, what is that smell? It's that new guy. He's got shit in his drawers. I beg your pardon? Clear. This was me. It's almost taking a dump on my desk. Yeah, okay. Likely story, Robert. Look, uh, I don't care where it's come from. Will you just get rid of it? It's not a great start to your first day, is it? Claire, it wasn't me. I... <sighs> you saw me go to the toilet, didn't you? Hello, Lockdown Lifeline. How can I help you today? Ah, hello. Yes, I was just hoovering in the nude and it just so happened I tripped and now I am attached. Is this Mr. Wilkes? What? Oh, good Lord, no, 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 no. How did you know? Because you called last week about the cucumber. Damn. So I should imagine, Claire, as manager here at Lockdown Lifeline, that losing a member of staff has been very hard for you. I haven't lost anybody. Kofi, he died. Died? Yes. Kofi? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> that would explain why he didn't come in for work. Um, I don't know what to say other than that is so sad. So, so very sad. Especially as I was getting a lot of money and benefits from the government for him. Oh. So, Robert, the new member of staff, did you hire him? Yes, well, <clears throat> head office thought that it would look... Uh, good to get the ethnic balance right. I said, well, they did that in Yugoslavia in the 90s and look how that turned out. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... But yes, it, it leaves a good impression on the company. It makes us look good. And I think fundamentally, it makes us look more inclusive and caring than we actually are. So Robert, it's your first day here. How's it been going so far? Pretty stressful, to be honest. I'm getting loads of funny looks. And no one will come near me. And then I find what can only be described as a sewer snake in my desk drawer. Gotta be because I'm the only black guy, right? I mean, I don't want to be paranoid, but this usually happens. I'm overthinking things again, aren't I? Come on, Rob, come on. Nobody hates you here. Be gone, Seaman. Be gone. Back where you belong. You see? Racism. Well, I'm not putting up with it any longer. Clear? I am clearly 
being persecuted here and it's not fair. Look, Robert, it's quite simple, okay? We think that Kofi died of COVID-19, all right? And you're now sat in his seat. So that is why everybody is avoiding you. And as for Sally throwing holy water at you, well, she's trying to cleanse her soul of evil. She's found Jesus. Um, so this has got nothing to do with the fact that you are black. So the guy who died, it's called Kofi? Yes. Ah, oh, I see. Another black guy, eh? No, he was white. Bit racist, that. I I admire the Chinese. You know, I really do. I mean, their their idea of communism—it's a genuine article. You know, it really is. I mean, whatever it is, the coronavirus, capitalism—they'll spread it equally with the entire world. That is that's real communism. You know, great lads, the Chinese, great lads. I was really concerned when Robert found that shit in his desk. <laughs> Why is that, Sally? Because I didn't know that Sarah had done a shit in there already. So, thank God Robert found hers and not mine. <laughs> How do you know it was hers? Because all of my shits are horseshoe shaped. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Lockdown Lifeline. How can I help you today? Uh, hello! Something dreadful has happened. It was gone to the fridge to get some milk and... This is Mr Wilkes again, isn't it? How do you always know? There? Looks like... So Sarah, can you tell us what you've done to your forehead? Have you had an accident? No. I trepanned myself last night. Basically, it allows you to think really deep thoughts. Right. And how did you do it? With a drill. Gosh. Did it work? No. It just gave me a really bad headache. I can't find one. I think I might have one, Claire. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. Lockdown Lifeline. Alright, listen. I'm out of methanol and need some more pronto. I told you, don't ring this number. You can ring me on my mobile. Anybody got a goddamn pen? I really thought I had one, sorry. Hello, Lockdown Lifeline. How may I help you today? Look, you, I know it's not my brightest idea, but I seem to have a light bulb lodged in my rectum. This is Mr. Wilkes again, isn't it? Well, how do you know it's me? Where the hell are all the pens in this place? Somebody! Yes, Claire. I think I've got a pen here for you. Let me have a look. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Is that... horseshoe shaped? Oops. <laughs> oh. Okay, can everybody see and hear me? Okay, fantastic. Okay, so great work today, team. By great, I actually mean passable. I'm going to keep this brief. I've had orders come down from up high. They are telling me that there are people out there that are breaching the lockdown laws, okay? There's absolute madness and mayhem going on out there by the sounds of it, and people, quite rightly so, are very angry, and so they need to be listened to. 
and then ignored. So in order to do this, uh, we have decided that we are going to host a live mass debate with people joining in and watching so that they can have their say. Claire? Yes, Sally. <laughs> well, words of warning, and you don't have to take heed if you don't want to, but I would strongly suggest that you do, and that is that you don't do that. Oh, really? And why would that be exactly? Because everybody knows you do not masturbate in public. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Am I right? Self-isolation, self-isolation Got me climbing the walls round here Never been so lazy, feeling so crazy I just wanna disappear Self-isolation, self-isolation Got me climbing the walls round here Never been so lazy, feeling so crazy just wanna disappear Ooh, self-isolation Oh, self-isolation mm -hmm. I just wanna disappear 